What is going on everybody? Philip here from the Figure Bros bringing you guys another review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Mezco's 112 Ghost Spider. I am very excited to be looking at this figure because prototypes were shown for this figure a long time ago and it looked like Mezco was going with their outdated old school female body which is single joint articulation but that was the prototype. Let's see how the final product matches up because it did it does look like they've actually updated their female body so I'm very excited to look at the articulation part of this segment to see if they made some improvements now before we go any forward and break right out of the package please guys do me the big favor hit that like button if you're new consider hitting that subscribe button don't forget to also hit that notification bell so you guys never miss when jared or i drop a video please also share it and comment and let me know what you guys think of the review if this is a figure you guys are going to be getting if you already have gotten it what are, what are your guys' thoughts on the figure itself as well please comment all that down below. With all that being said, let's go ahead and get her out of the packaging and take a look at her articulation. All right, now that we got her out of the packaging, let's go ahead and take a good look at the articulation, see if there is some improvement from the old body to the new body. Now, quick side note, I'm not 100% sure that that's the case. I'm not sure if this is the new and improved female body. It certainly feels like it. If you guys know anything about Mezco's, their old school female body was severely outdated, so... It, it, you know, I was messing with it off camera. It definitely feels like there's some new things here. Some definitely some new tooling where elbows and the legs definitely seem to be a little more double jointed. I'll go ahead and demonstrate that now for you guys. Uh, there is a wire too on this little cowl right here. So you can easily just peel that back and you guys can go ahead and take a good look at it right there. So let's go ahead and raise the camera up just a little bit. Let's go ahead and start with articulation, starting with the head. So you guys can see we get a good movement downward looking up we get really good movement there too so that's really good i really like this a lot right here because again wall crawlers spider man spider girls whatever ghost spiders you know they need, they need to be able to look down and they need to be able to look up a good deal so you guys can see you guys can really get some really good movement uh with the head right there so that's really good off to a, a good start there uh side to side we do get a little bit so that's pretty good there a little bit more right there it is i think a ball peg yeah and look at that we get a new an improved ball peg from Mezco. I actually get like a metal one right there. So that's really nice there. Good tooling. You guys can feel it. It's definitely like another double ball peg. It seems like right there in the neck. Smart move by Mezco going with this very flexible neck uh, cowl right here. So you guys can see, you guys can get all the movement you want on the head right there. It does not intervene at all, which is really, really good. We've seen that in the past. Sometimes, you know, with these kind of uh, outfits, you would see the neck movement would be hindering, but this one, they actually went with a nice soft fabric around the neck, which is really good. So you can get all that full range of motion. Moving over to the arms. Yes, there is some nice movement here. You guys can see it goes out like that. Double jointed elbow. So she can really curl up that whole thing right there. Very, very nice. I like that a lot. There is a butterfly joint too. So it's really good right there. You guys can see it can go back out that much. You don't want to stretch it out too bad because this is nice fabric right here. So you don't want to rip it. So again, it can go in and out about that much. So really good there. We do get a hinge for the wrist as well. So really good there. And I think there is a bicep cut. There is a bicep cut right there. You guys can see I can move it as much as I want down as well. Again, always stressing too when it comes to Mezco because this is... Uh, fabric and stuff like that. This is soft goods on these figures. You don't want to stretch it too much because you don't want to rip it. But for the demonstration of these videos, I'll do my best to just show off as much of the articulation as I feel comfortable with. Moving over to the torso. This is impressive. Watch this. Ready? So the torso, we get a really, really nice crunch there. Again, really, really good crunch right here. I don't like this pleather material. They've been using this a lot lately with their figures. I got to be honest. I At first, I was like, it's kind of neat. It's kind of cool it's starting to really grow on me where I'm like, I absolutely hate it. And that's, I, I at first it was kind of like, okay, this is pretty cool. Seeing that they keep going to this material, I really don't like it. I'll talk about a little bit more why I don't like it in the look and design segment. But going again to the crunch, and you look at that, that's a nice back crunch right there. I mean, look at that. We get really good range of motion. Let's go ahead and stretch your back. There we go. So definitely an upgrade there in the torso section. Very, very good there. Legs we get full splits which is excellent for a wall crawler a spider man a spider girl ghost spider whatever again i will do it for this video only you guys can see we can do the full splits again just be careful you don't always want to do it because you guys can see you guys will get a little bit of rippage in the seams and if you rip that it's pretty much all over for your figure so again for the for the, for the sake of the video i will do it but don't expect me to do that too much uh going over to the knees we actually do get i think a thigh cut inside here feels like there's one there I don't, I don't know 
This is why I really don't like this material right here. So this is like a problem right here. I can't tell if there's a thigh cut because this is so thick and padded right here. I, it feels like there's one there, but I'm not 100% sure. So we'll say maybe there is. Uh, knees, we get a nice double jointed knee, which is excellent. You guys can see she can pretty much kick her own butt right there. So that thing can go all the way back. We like that. Kick out forward, really good there. Kick out back really, really well. So there is definitely some major improvement here on this body and I am very happy with that so far. Uh, and of course we still have our very stubborn Mezco ankles that really just ankle rockers, man. That's one thing they really need to improve on going forward. You guys can see it can go down about that much, but it cannot go up. Part of that again is this pleather material. Now that's the articulated segment. I'm gonna go ahead and talk about look and design because there is one major, major, major flaw with this figure and I'm curious to see if you guys picked up on it already. The one major flaw that already is with this figure as she falls over is the, the body in general looks like a boy's body. It just looks like a boy's body and I'm not trying to sound perverted or anything but there's no curves on this female figure at all. Like uh, let me just show you. Okay standard pose right? Look at that flat as can be. Backside flat as can be. It looks like a generic boy's body. It does not look like a curvy female body. Now, some of you guys may be saying like, well, why is that important? Who cares? This is Ghost Spider. Ghost Spider is a pretty curvy character. As a matter of fact, if you take a look at their freaking box that they give it to you on, look at the curves on her. Again, I'm not trying to sound perverted or anything, but I'm just like noticing that these are just some pretty big flaws. Look at the chest. Look at the waist. Those are some really nice curves. They got thick, uh, you know, thick hamstrings right there, right? Like she looks that that looks like a nice female body. The curves, the suit, everything is complementing her. Look at the body. Look at the chest. There's no curves there. Like we can make these boobs pop out a little bit. And again, I'm not saying that to be a pervert. I'm just saying because that's more accurate. Like this is a really good, accurate description of what Ghost Spider is. And when you look at her right here, it just doesn't look very flattering at all. It just looks like a, a boy's body. It just does. There's no curves, there's no thickness here in all the right places that it should be. And again, I know some of you guys are saying like, well, why does that matter? It matters because if you were to put this up against any other guy body right here, it almost looks the same. Put this up against a Spider-Man, tell me it doesn't look the same thing other than the chest poking out a little bit there, right? Those are some A cups. These are some nice C's and D's right here. Like again, it, I'm not sounding to be a pervert, but that does matter when you're talking about look and design, when you're talking about the aesthetics of the figure, when you're talking about accuracy of the figure. And also too, the reason why it's a big problem too is because of this pleather material. It's very hard to show off curves or get the right proportion of thickness and stuff like that. When you're dealing with this pleather material, this pleather material is very thick and padded. I really wish they did the pleather right here and right here and then went with the more cloth the front and back and even in the sides they can even done the pleather right here as well that would have been just fine too they should have made this you can see like the little bit of uh the gap in between her they should have made this gap just a little bit thicker like they did right here so they can actually transform this fabric they didn't have to go with the full pleather down here on the front and the back and i do think this pleather material is an actual problem for mezco it's not a very flattering material like i said look at the Look at the body of these two figures. I got them side by side right there. You guys can clearly tell it does not look like this, does not look like this. And that is a big problem. The other problem I also have too is you can take a look at the box. You see how nice and thick these eyes are? There's none of that with this, with this head at all. This is the standard head that they give you one. We'll go ahead and talk about the accessories here in a little bit. That'll be a more longer detailed segment, but they all pretty much look like this. We should have gotten these nice thickness around here in the eyes. These are just some major issues that I'm seeing with Mezco. If you're, if you're going to do this, make sure the box art does not look like this. Make sure the box art looks like this. This way people don't have something to compare it to because I have something that I can easily compare it to. And I got to be honest, this does not look like this. And that's a major issue. Other issue again too, I really do think this pleather material needs to go away from Mezco. It also does uh, uh, go to a lot of chipping and wearing and tearing, all that kind of stuff. It's just not a very, very good material. And I do hope they kind of get away with it. If they want to integrate this pleather with the cloth, I'm cool with that. Like do more cloth, less pleather with this figure. I think that actually would have made this figure pop out a little bit more. Also a little more attention to freaking detail Mezco would have been really good. At least like they got the detail right inside the cowl, which I was very happy with. Let's see if I can actually, we could just do this right here. So that's pretty nice. They did get the nice detail there. All the webbing is inside this. So that's pretty accurate. Again, even like this right here, it looks really good inside there. So they definitely got that detail right. But 
you know, the attention to detail sometimes is lacking when it comes to Mezco. And this is a clear indication. This does not look like this. This does not look like this. These curves, this body does not look like a female body. It looks like a generic boy body. That's just my opinion. You guys can comment down below. Let me know, agree or disagree. With that being said, we're gonna go ahead and move over to accessories because there's a lot of accessories to talk about. All right, you guys, let's talk about now the accessories. This is where usually Mezco shines the most, right? They usually do a really good job with their accessories. So first off, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the hands you guys get. These are all the hands. And I'm leaving this box in the background too because I'm gonna show you guys the alternative heads. And again, how it does not match what the artwork looks like, what the final product should have been. So here are the hands. I think for you know the MSRP that we pay for in this figure, and I'll get to that here at the end, I think we're gonna sh we should have gotten an extra set or two of hands, really lacking in the hand department, but you kind of get enough to just kind of do what you need to do. Where this figure also shines here is right here. This has been really good work by Mezco in general. You guys can see this is an, a hand that attaches, but it actually has the web integrated into the mold itself, which is really nice. I've seen this from Mezco a lot lately. And I do think this is something they need to continue to do. We've seen it with a lot of X-Men figures like Gambit and Bishop. We've also seen it a lot with um, G.I. Joe, like Storm Shadow and Snake Eyes. So it's really good to see that you actually get two sets of these. So I guess if you want to make the argument that this is your extra set of hands, okay, cool, I'm good with it then. So pretty good there. Now, again, let's go to the alternative head. First off, we get a full unmasked version of Gwen. You guys can see really, really nice there. Good detail. Their sculpts have definitely gotten better over the years, this is another good example of it too. Pretty good there. We get an also half unmasked version right here. And again, you guys can see lower half unmasked and you see those eyes does not match what the box art looks like. And again, I really think they should have went to that to actually looks like, you know, it has like an actual ring around the eye. This to me is just very lazy. Just like, it's kind of like glowing and I don't understand why they just didn't, didn't do this. And it just doesn't make any sense to me. Very, very missed opportunity there by Mezco. And then of course we get another alternative head right here with her eyebrow looking up, kind of like she's saying, say what? That type of thing, you know, pretty good there. I like that alternative head. And then of course we get a full unmasked version that she can actually hold. So pretty nice there. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and now remove this box so we can continue on with the accessories. Uh, another accessory we do get, we get a nice backpack. One thing I don't like about this backpack though is they use a very hard plastic for the whole thing. So you guys can see, I think they should have went with a nice soft good right here that you can kind of flip this backpack open pretty easily. So then you can put her other accessory like her notebook that says Gwen on it right inside pretty easily. And instead you really gotta fight with this thing constantly. To, you know, And I've already been stretching this thing out, but when you first get into the packaging, it's a little tough. And then you guys can see, you can put that notebook in, but again, getting that out will not be easy. So like, let's see how difficult that is to get out now. So there you go, put a nail in there. Can it just fall out on its own? Nope. And now, that's gonna be a real pain in the ass. There we go, so there we go. Not the easiest thing. Again, little simple details like this matter. Make this soft good so you can just flip it open with ease and then put a notebook in. Again, that would have solved a lot of problems. Another cool accessory we do get right here is a nice little spider, uh, spider senses tingling type of thing right there. Like that a lot. We also get her, whoa. We also get her phone. So there you go, right there. Nice little detail that one. We also get a wrist gadget, really nice there. And then of course we get a really cool long wired web that you can pretty much mess with and pretty much do whatever you want with her, put it in her hand, put her upside down, posing, all that kind of stuff that you've guys seen other people do really cool stuff with. And then the one really cool accessory that we do get is we get this nice little portal right here. Now, the one issue I have with this portal, it looks really good, but if you put her right in front of it, like for a photo, it's not bad by any stretch of the imagination. Like that photo, right? That, that looks pretty cool, right? Just on its own, looks really cool. The one issue I do have is this should have definitely been bigger and taller than her. You guys can see her standing right. I'll even put her a little bit closer to the portal. You guys can see she's pretty much the same height as the portal. Now, there's nothing particularly wrong with that. I just think for the price that we're paying with, this portal should have been a little bit bigger just for the accuracy of, again, imagine a giant portal opening up and her walking through it. Well, this portal seems small by standard. Again, you put her side by side, you know, right there. Pretty much, I think we should have gotten a bigger portal than what we've been given, especially when we're talking about the price that we're paying for this figure. MSRP is $105, at least that's what it's on 
sale right now over at Big Bad uh, Toy Store, which is in stock right now. So if you want to pick up this figure, you can. If you're picking up for $105, I think for $105, I don't see $105 worth of stuff here. I really just don't. Especially when you when you factor in like little things like attention to detail. And I'm going to talk a little bit more about that here in a second. My final score for this figure is a 6.5 out of 10. I am not in love with this figure at all. I think a lot of this stuff, like attention to detail, like the portal being bigger, I think we need an extra set of hands for what we're paying for, the backpack, this pleather material, and again, I'm going to put this up here one more time, and I'm sorry, I know I'm going to sound like a broken record, but these two things are not the same at all. It's just not. The final, like the artwork here versus the final product, this is what this thing should have actually looked like. And I'm really not in love with this female body. There's no curves. There's nothing to really separate it from looking like an actual female body. Again, take a look at this and take a look at that. These, one of these things are not like the other. The attention to detail, like the eyes, again, that's a big, you know, no-no for me. I don't like these eyes at all. I don't like the fact that she's just glowing right here. Not a fan of this at all. I love this. This looks awesome. This should definitely what we should have gotten on this. And I'm not in love with that at all. I don't like that Mezco has recently just been dropping the ball with that little thing like that. Like little attention to details can really make these figures pop and stand out. I'm also not in love with this pleather material they've been using a lot of lately. I really don't like it because it leads to a lot of chipping, ripping, breaking. Again, I'm okay with it being integrated in the soft goods suits. But I much rather have like this right here. Like again, if they would have done like pleather in the front and the back of the suit and on the side, it was the soft good or vice versa. I would have been good with that too. It would have been just fine with this. It would have been just fine too. They went straight up black on soft goods right here. Maybe they did a little bit of leathering right here. That would have been just fine too. Like they could have done from the waist up pleather and from the waist down soft goods with that nice um, cloth uh, black fabric. The fact that they went with this pleather material, I am not in love that they're doing this. And again, I'm not in love with the final material versus what you get here versus what you get here. Again, you guys can sell off in the comments section. You think I'm a right, wrong, you think I'm being too harsh. I, for the money that we're paying for for these figures, I'm just not in love with this at all. Not to mention too, again, it seems like Mezco has been very inconsistent lately with a lot of their figures. Certain little tension to details is what's been kind of driving me to just really not be in love with Mezco. I still love the, I still like the company, but I'm not like in love. I used to really run out and pre-order every single Mezco. And just lately, I just have not done that recently. Every time I seem like I get a new Mezco that comes out and hits my hand, I'm like, okay, yay, you know, cool. Let's see if it really hits a home run or if it's just like kind of middle of the road. That's kind of where they've been. They kind of either been home runs or middle of the road or just not really exceeding my expectations, which is what I've come to expect from Mezco. So again, you guys can let me know down below in the comment section, agree or disagree. Final verdict score on this, 6.5 out of 10. $105, I'm not seeing it. I think this figure should have been about 90, 95. You guys can let me know down below in the comment section, sound off. Hope you guys have enjoyed this review. If you did and you made it this far, please hit that like button. If you're new, consider hitting that subscribe button. Don't forget to comment. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you guys next time.